Hello and welcome to our first Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at computer craft and some basic Lua coding on Minecraft computers. I'm here on a network with Pokers. Hello, how are you doing? And to start off he's going to uh, show you the recipe for building a computer in Minecraft. Okay, so as you can see we have the uh, computer recipe set up here. It's seven stone on the sides, one glass pane on the bottom, and one redstone in the middle. As you can see, it's a very simple recipe to make. It doesn't cost a lot of resources, and it's very easy to obtain. So it's actually very cheap to build lots of computers and to make very complex computer systems. Yes, it is. It's not expensive like things uh, like a quarry or something, which costs a lot of diamonds. It's just one redstone, that's all. Well, that's great. Okay, let's... Uh, take a look at redstone inputs into a computer uh, because you can um, let the computer react on things outside of the computer for example a redstone signal um, so while uh, Pokers uh, explains kind of how that works I'm going to write some code here okay so the first thing you have to do of course is make a program uh, by making uh, a program, you can just edit all the things you want. You can um, let the computer do everything you want. Uh, the first thing you need to do is type edit, and then the program you want to... Hold on, I'm just resetting the computer. Okay, so edit, and then the program name. So in this case, we'll do input, because that's what we want the program to be called. Yes, that's, uh, that's right. And So we now are in the program by pressing enter. Yes, and we could type some Lua code here. And it's uh, Lua is actually a, a very basic programming language used in computer craft. But it's actually very powerful. Yes, it is. And it Lua is also used in a lot of games lately. It's a very simple but effective way to, uh, to write coding. Yeah, so for example, you could say input is redstone uh, dot get input right what this basically means is we use a variable and we uh, give it the value of the redstone input of the right side of the computer which means that in this case we have this redstone torch right here and um, redstone wire going into the computer on its right side so in this case input will be set to true because there is in fact a signal going into the right side. Um, so we could say for example print input and that will show us whether the signal is um, on or off. So if we save this program by pressing control then hit save and again control exit we can run the program um, you can simply run a program by typing its name and then return. In this case, input. Yeah, because input is our problem, uh, our uh, our program. Yes. And there and you can see it's true, and that's uh, that's also what the signal says. So. So if we would remove the redstone torch, so there's no redstone input, and we run the program again, then there we go, false there's no redstone signal coming into the right side of the computer. But you can I also let the computer uh, set an output signal of redstone. And for that we're going to walk over to this door right here. For example, you could uh, program the computer to open the door when you run a specific program. So let's see, we are opening the computer again, which you can do, by the way, by right-clicking it. And um, let's create a new program as well here. So that's going to be edit, um, open door, return to um, enter the program. And let's say redstone, set output. The door is on the right of the computer, so we're using right, is, oh, sorry, right, and then true. Now this will open the door 
because the computer will um, send out a redstone signal to the right side. But let's say um, we want the door to close as well. We could use redstone set output right false. But in this case the door will open but immediately it will close as well. But you want some time to uh, walk through the door. So you could put um, a sleep code in the middle. So let's say the door will be opened, then the computer will wait four seconds and then the door will close. So let's save this program and run it. Open door and as you can see the door opens and a few seconds later it closes again. And uh, Pokers, if you could do that again, running the program, open door, there we go, it opens. And yeah, four seconds and there you go. And the door closes again. And that's basic Lua code, it's I think very easy to understand. Just three lines of code and it will open the door, wait four seconds and close it again. And you can imagine you can make uh, way more complicated programs than this, but this is really just the basics. Okay, so I think that's pretty much uh, what we wanted to show you. Yeah, that's it, I think, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for more computer craft tutorials we'll be doing on this channel. Yeah, and uh, we hope you liked it. Yeah, be sure to uh, hit the like button as well. And if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments. We are... Uh we sure are going to read the comments. Yes, we sure will. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.